communication breakdown, chaos, riots. That's just the tip of the terrorism iceberg, and it's not a matter of if, it's when. Is this the year of digital Armageddon? We love our computers. They make life fun and make work more profitable. But there's a dark side. The network computer systems that we take for granted are starting to run every aspect of society. And guess what? They are full of holes and wide open to attack. Governments, corporations, you, me, the whole world can be brought to its knees by a few malicious keystrokes. And somewhere out there, it is being planned, now. By fraudsters, by hackers, by terrorists. We've spoken to the experts, and what they've told us is truly terrifying. Here's just one of the seven deadly sins that we believe are leading us towards digital Armageddon. Most secure traffic on the internet uses the same coding. It's called the digital encryption standard. Everything you do that is a secure transaction is encrypted by the standard. The standard is used to secure the transmissions between your computer and banking sites, secure email sites, stock sites. Let's say you're connecting to your bank for online banking and you see the little lock in the lower corner of your browser. That means that the transmission between your computer and the bank is secured with one of 73 quadrillion possible combinations. In the end, a processor can figure out the algorithm. It's only a matter of time till they connect enough computers to solve it. This means if somebody can find a way to break the actual algorithm, they will have cracked the code for everyone and be able to apply it to everything, thereby cracking every single encrypt message out there. It would give them the ability to de-scramble every coded message on the web or on a computer. You could call it the skeleton key. It means all these encrypted networks, these secure communications will be open to interception. It could definitely be used for individuals, but because it's so powerful, you could literally hit the bank itself and decrypt all their information and just take all the records in one fatal swoop. You need to lock your door, you need to lock your internet connection. You need to put passwords on files. You need to shred documents, thereby making yourself less of a target. Those who are the most vulnerable will be attacked first. But to not take any action at all is, is unacceptable. Data encryption technology is all well and good, provided it's thought through properly. The new way we do passports is crazy. We now have an RFID chip in it. Certain people in the world don't like Americans. So if they can read my passport from across the room and say, oh, gee, that nightclub has you know, 80 Americans in it versus this one with 20, which one am I going to target? Anytime you have convenience, you have vulnerability. Ignorance is bliss, but in this case, ignorance will lead to destruction or an invitation to all these harmful elements. So in a way, it has to happen for us to take action, really. Hopefully it does not, but unfortunately, the way we see things, it most likely will be that way. Data intrusion. It's a sin, but only one of seven. There are six more out there. Because we feel that forewarned is forearmed. Keep watching.